Imagine hiki kijamaa kilienda kwa matatu wengine kuambia watu wakae safe in Nairobi. Hebu ona. Last week nilikuwa nimekaa kwa matatu kama vile nimekaa kwa matatu saa hizi. Tumetoka Nairobi naelekea Westlands. Niko kwa Yaki West. Nimekaa hapo kwenye mama ameka. Nilikuwa nimechukua simu yangu alipa na Mpesa. Sasa sasa nimechukua simu uh, makanga amenekea chini namba yake nimeshalipa alafu nimekatua hapa nile nikainua simu yangu nikaangalisha hivi makanga angalia confirmation message Ika, iko sawa iko shwari akaangalia akakaa chini dakika mbili huo mtu alikuwa ameka kando yangu akashuka mati a few seconds later sijui nini na kwambia msimbo watu wameka huko nyuma ya mati juu mtu akishuka ngapi hapo unaona ngapi amesimama amekuja amekaa hapo right huo mtu akakuja akaka kando yangu and a few seconds later huo mtu mwenye alikuja akaka kando yangu akaanza swali very weird akaniuliza eh msee office za westlands kwa hiyo swali ina kawa weird but the thing is this anakuuliza swali ya upuzi ndio endelee kuongea naye so mwenye aliniuliza hiyo swali eh kwanza mwenye aliniuliza nikasikia nimegongo na harufu nyingine mbaya ni kama mtu mwenye aja brush meno nani asubuhi watu wangu so kenyu mtu kama aja brush meno unafanya nini unaangalia kando unampa tu masikio yako unafungua dirisha right so dakika mbili tu a a a a a a nikaanza kusikia watu siko sawa aha aha Nimelala vizuri lakini naanza kusikia usingizi zingine yenye ile. Nashangaa huko kunaendelea. Hi, good morning. Today when you ask your friends how they are doing as you greeting them. Remember to add the word truly before how are you doing. So you say something like how are you truly doing and let them know that you truly care about how they are doing. Just be more mindful today. Shall we? Well, good day. Jambo guys this is your guys Zeke and welcome to Just Zeke show. So guess what? Leo tuko na jamaa fulani hapa jamaa amekuwa famous within no time. So jamaa tumemwona pale kwa ma newspaper, tumemwona pale TikTok, tumemwona pale koja anahubiri. <laughs> But anyway, without further ado, kizungu nayo. Eh uh, so we let you introduce yourself. Tuambie ni nani? What do you do? And uh, here see si show yetu ni tuasugle yako ni gani? So utatuambia pia unapiga asal gani. So karibu kwa show bro. Shukran. Karibu. <laughs> We mhubiri amefika. Eh karibu. Eh sadaka nitawaambia namba mtashoma. Uh, uh, <laughs> jina ni Iningu. Mm-hmm. Iningu Victor. Mm-hmm. Lakini jina ya sanaa ni Iningu Music mm-hmm. kwa sababu first of all I'm a musician mm-hmm. and second of all I'm a musician and mm-hmm. third of all I'm a musician. <laughs> Sio so, pasta. Uh, pasta hiyo sitaki kupigania uh-huh. sawa so, iko na wenyewe uh-huh. but fun fact my dad is a pastor uh-huh. yeah so, so maybe it maybe, runs in the family maybe <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway karibu kwa show asante man so fans wako wanta kujua yeah. who is iningu yeah. na mbona tuko hapa leo all right yeah. iningu is a 24 year old eh uh, i'm a i'm a first born or in a family of four mm-hmm. Mimi ni mwanamuziki, mm-hmm. awaki na piano store inaitwa Wao Pianos. Mm-hmm. So daily mimi utanipata tu na fanya mambo yangu pale. Mm-hmm. Alafu siku zingine watu wa Nairobi walijaribu kunisalimia, nikaamua Mungu akakuwa kwa upande wangu. Mm-hmm. Siku nyingine nikakuta ninaguzana tu na hiyo line ya utumishi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nikajikuta ninahubiri watu wakuwe safe Nairobi. Mm-hmm. But basically I think I'm a lover of life, I'm a musician. Mm-hmm. Niko ninapenda mambo ya mziki so mm-hmm. I do production mm-hmm. I play several instruments mm-hmm. and I generally love music I'm in a band mm-hmm. in it for the messengers mm-hmm. si upiga live band so ukiwa na harusi pale mliona pia niliwaambia ukitaka ku MC pia I also do MC mm-hmm. and sana sana tu sana sana tu kiasi mziki linichagua nikakubali wito so I'd say I'm a musician So mm. as a musician you said you play instrument and yeah, uh, you yeah. also sing. Yeah, me remember, me remember. Maybe kuna ngoma moja unaweza tushia ka line hapa. Maybe maybe ni rap kiasi. Uh-huh. Kuna song ya si rap sana msi si mm-hmm. expect kitu. Original. Si original. Mm-hmm. Ni cover napenda sana hiyo song. Ni kuna jamaa anaitwa Blinky Bill. Mm-hmm. Na kuna song yake inaitwa Hey. So mm-hmm. Uh, hey baby nataka kukuona sura yako inafanya roho inapona hey mm-hmm. ah, kweli we ni malaika hao wengine nawa ita kadhalika hey baby nataka kukuona sura yako inafanya roho inapona hey mm-hmm. ah, kweli we ni malaika hao wengine nawa ita 
Mm. Kakuna mtu hii dunia na bahati ni mimi najua kila mtu ataniuliza kwa nini manzi yangu bomba hata misi ya mimi staki rud staki face staki pia kanini kushiko nimeshiko nikaweko mfuko hakuna pickpocket atanitoa huko mm. ni mimi na yeye yeye na mimi tuko pamoja kama mdomo ulimi mm. amekuwa na mimi nikikaranga chumvi atakuwa na mimi nikianza kunona sijamuona leo lakini story ni hii nitachukua mm. simu yangu ni mwambie hivi sema hey hello boys and girls my name is ilingu ilingu music i'm gonna perform a song by pompi pompi is one of my favorite artists i love this song man and he carries your sins on the cross reconciling the box between studio no 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 i'm just a humble <laughs> servant of the lord we hey, respect but wanafaa juu kwa hapa nje eh tuko hapa acha tuko hapa eh tuko hapa tunashabikia talanta yao that's nice but nimesikia ukitaja kanini kwa line hapo eh kuna kwa mtu kuna mtu kuna mtu kanitoka nini hapo anaitwa na mwitanga keletu ehe eh, mpenzi wangu wa roho Nice. Sichana mzuri. Ile simu nilikuwa karibu ni B. Mimi niliona pesa siwezi yeka karibu na mimi mm-hmm. kwa sababu nitakuwa naenda nione sina fair, nione nikutane na mtu ra, ni kule. So what I did is mm-hmm. I actually sent her money ya kunisevia. So for like three months hiyo don nilisema nilikuwa na save for three months. Mm-hmm. Haiko actually kwa mpesa yangu, mm-hmm. ilikuwa kwa account ya mpenzi. Mm-hmm. So nilikuwa tu namtumia na mwambia, "Eh hey, babe, hii ni project simu." Mm-hmm. Namsukumia ka 5k. "Eh hey, babe, hii ni project simu." Namtumia ka 7k. Alinisaidia ku save for ile simu yenyewe ilikuwa karibu ibio. Mm-hmm. So she's very special. I find her kukuwa mtu mwenye ananisaidia kwa better person even mm-hmm. as i help her so mm-hmm. that's the same thing to note that kama si yeye maybe singeza ku save up hadi fike enough money ku buy hiyo simu mm-hmm. so ni nakapenda kadem so, kana nifanyanga ni simple na sipendi hiyo story ah <laughs> <laughs> but anyway kuna kitu umetaja hapo yeah, yeah. is not uh, that's not why we are here today but uh-huh. are you trying to say that uh, you can invest or uh, your partner can help you to invest i try i'm trying to say mm-hmm. that i'm lucky Mm-hmm. to be one who found someone whom we can invest together with mm-hmm. na kuna vitu mob sana zingine siko shoka niko ready kusema kwa camera mm-hmm. but kuna vitu mob zenye i can si unafanyanga editing acha <laughs> <laughs> ipite si to distract but zitapita kadhaa tu karibu na Wilson kwa hapa chini hata hata ukiongea eh iko sawa eh iko sawa kuna so, vitu kadhaa kuna vitu kadhaa zenye naweza sema kama si yeye kunisaidia mm-hmm. hazinge happen mm-hmm. so kama hiyo simu and, and maybe just to mention another one is mm-hmm. she's a biochemist mm-hmm. alimaliza shule chuka mm-hmm. and nakumbuka alikujanga home kwanza alikuwa ameacha vitu zake shule mm-hmm. and this is a time that it came menye vitu zake ilikuwa sa penye alikuwa ameziacha mm-hmm. time ya kukapo zimeisha mm-hmm. and so we just gathered funds together na ye tukakomboka moti tukateremka mpaka chuka kuchukua vitu zake mm-hmm. and other many other things zenye companionship personally naweza sema companionship nimeiona na yeye mm-hmm. na pamoja tumesaidia na kuinvest in things mm-hmm. kama simu maybe mtu anaweza sema simu si kitu unaweza investment yeah. but to a creative simu kwangu ni kama kashamba mm-hmm. because through that phone I'm able to record my content I'm mm-hmm. able to post my content mm-hmm. I'm able to record my ideas mm-hmm. na through that phone ndio maana hata mnajua kuna kamtu kama kaka na exist that's the same phone yenye ilikuwa karibu ibie that's the same phone I used to record mm-hmm. and 
to me that's an investment mm -hmm. na bila yeye kukua kwa maisha yangu na kunisaidia ku save mm -hmm. sidhani ningekuwa nayo and maybe five years from now we'll be talking about a car maybe we'll be talking yeah, about true. a land which tutakuwa tumesave mm -hmm. pamoja mm -hmm. Mungu akitujalia so i can say yeah inshallah ukipata demo mpoa ama chali mpoa mm -hmm. you can definitely work together to do something great mimi ni fan wa mkurugenzi na nakumbuka mm -hmm kuna kitu fulani alikuwa anasema kitu anapenda about Judy mm -hmm. Judy ni wife yake mm -hmm. alikuwa anasema kitu anapenda about her ni that na kitu tunafanya ng'a love yao kwa fresh every time yet kila time kuna kuanga na ka project wana work on mm -hmm. na hiyo ni kitu yenye mimi nilitake away that unajua kuna time mapenzi na kwa ina boki mnaweza kwa wale nimeboeka mm -hmm. but nime notice that every time mimi na manzi yangu we have something we are working towards kama tumesema hey babe hii mwezi lazima tuende place fulani to explore eh baby mwezi lazima tufanye kitu fulani mm -hmm. kuna hiyo ka psych na hiyo ka, 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 ka thrill jumu najua eh by the end of this month mm -hmm. kuna ka kitu fulani you are working towards mm -hmm. and i feel like apart from kukusaidia ku invest pia it keeps your love alive and it it helps you grow together mm -hmm. you your both visual envisioning something mm -hmm. and mna collaborate to get to that goal mm -hmm. which is something very beautiful and yeah unaweza invest na manzi yako and akuna kitu beautiful bro kama ku invest na akuna ah uh, man muna furaha yani unasikia ngani kama umeshinda dunia nzima it's it's the best thing ever so yeah ni yeah, fit ni kitu poa unani motivate yeah. <laughs> today as you're praying for your relationships may you pray for them to be as strong as this sticker on imperial leather soap good day <laughs> ah man way, that is true because mm. uh, mm na partners pia wazi invest together they don't trust each other mm. maybe you are gaining your trust ama mm. you never know mm. it's not about family up in general man mm. sadly mm. so we are here today yes man bila umesema kanini alikusaidia usibiwe mm. simu after kwa almost kuibiwa simu kwa matatu niliamua nianze ku sensitize watu hii Nairobi and what's the best place to anze your shughuli kuliko place yenye nilikuwa almost niibiwe leo Acha ni mwache tu video. Jana nilikuwa nimeka kwa match kama venye umeka kwa match. Nikachukua simu yangu nikalipa Mpesa. Dakika mbili jamaa fulani akakuja kaka kando yangu. Akaniuliza tu swali moja, akaniuliza, "Hey mzee, eh ofisi za Westlands ziko wapi?" Na within 2 seconds, hadi siku anaelewa what's happening. Nilianza tu kusikia kizunguzungu fulani. Hii simu ina record hapa. Jana ilikuwa karibu iende. Leo nimeuza kitabu juu nimekupa kulipa na Mpesa ni siende kama venye nilikuenda jana. Eh mimi si pasta but nimeona nichukue bravery ni mgena nyenye tunajofia nyinyi mnalipa na Mpesa nimeona. Na kesho maybe ni wewe ama hata labda jioni nilikuwa tu pasta kwa metro kama wewe. Eh sio nataka niwaambie mkwekea kuli Nairobi kumeharibika. Bona the days yenye wasio walikuwa nafungua madirisha na snack simu. Office ya Island ziko wapi? Leo swali na sound kwa leo ubuzi. Sio na kuli kwa leo ubuzi ndio ujaribu kuongea na yeye. Alafu sio nini wana ameka kwa mdomo yake. Mimi nilisikia tu ni harufu ya mtu kama ja brush meno na nikaangalia hivi kando nikaanza kufungua dirisha yangu mko nimekaa kiti kwa mali kama mama amekaa hapo so i say when it happen Nairobi ni kubaya take your phone ikipindi wait we throw pesa yako pale kwa pesa lipa na cash kwa sababu kumeharibika nimeona tu niwaambie sisi tako kwa wapi pesa zako mama yako kitembea kama ni lazima watch netflix kwa simu sasa kisha kukua usome bible pale sikia nimeona tu niwaambie tu eh when it happen Nairobi ni kubaya ndio mkifanya simu hivi nafikia bado ni control ma size so these are story tulena pale TikTok. Eh umeanza kubiri unasema <laughs> like wa Kenya be vigilant. Eh kwa ni careful msiibiwe. Yes man. Na maybe ilikuwa penia. Sijui kama ilikuwa penia ama ni story tu zile zina happen hapa Kenya. Mm. So what really happened actually? Bro, kabwa kuna kitu je mimi na take kama the best compliment. Mm. Ni eti story ni noma sana. <laughs> Mbaka hakuna mtu anaamini ni story ya ukweli. Uh -huh. Kila mse anakutana na yeye ama kila mse ananijua ananiuliza ah bro kwa sure hiyo kitu ilikuwa peni ama una uli make up to story ama mm -hmm. ni, ni cloud tuna chase mm -hmm. na hiyo ni compliment me, me, i think that's the best compliment wasi wengine wanaambia mm -hmm. hiyo ni story ya jaba <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's the kitu you know the best compliment in me receive so far mm -hmm. but it's actually true like ni kitu ni happen ya mm -hmm. legit mm -hmm. eh sio ni need ya ku make up kitu traumatic hivyo hadi mm -hmm. size bado nakonga traumatize mimi mm -hmm. kwa matatu siku hizi hadi mtu akiniongelesha sita kangi hiyo story mm -hmm. na kitambo nilikonga msee mwenye ukiniongelesha kwa malti nitakusikiza tutaongea ni nini mm -hmm. but it's actually something that happened mm -hmm. mimi nilikuwa nimekalia tu matatu yangu ya super metro mm -hmm. tunaelekea wayakiwe yeah. kuna client nilikuwa naenda kucheki mm -hmm. amenitumia um, pin location mm -hmm. simu yangu sasa hizo ilikuwa 4 days old nilikuwa nilikuwa nimeorder jumia ilikujanga hiyo saturday mm -hmm. and the incident happened on a thursday afternoon mm -hmm. so saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday 
Thursday. So exactly five days later. Mm. Simu ni mpia, bado inanuka duka. Yeah. Hata karatasi sijui kama bado imeacha kunuka karatasi. <laughs> Niko pale naangalia pin location mm. na unajua of course juu mimi ni mtu angongo. So waiyakiwe mimi mm. sijui so lazima ni kwa rada ya pin location. Mm. And nimetoka tu kulipa Mpesa na unajua wenye ukilipanga simu makanga kipita hapo kwa hii aisle lazima yeah. umchekishe. Yeah. Nilikuwa nimekalia kiti ya Hizi vitu mbili ikiti imeangalia mm-hmm. dirisha and makanga kikam nikamuonesha confirmation message mm-hmm. na mimi nikaendelea kuangalia pia naona ah okay tumekaribia after tumefika ile ronda boat ya pale Sari Center uja mm-hmm. alikuwa karibu na mimi mwenye alikuwa next akashuka alafu mjamaa kutoka huko nyuma mimi sijui nini mimi watu mlaoma makao huko nyuma shida nyao wangu mbona mtu akishuka hapa mbele lazima utoke tu huko nyuma unakuja karibie sasa mtu akakaa hapa mimi si maana mimi niko tu bado niangalia so after tumepita ile ronda boat this jamaa asks me at ofisi za Westlands ziko wapi? Na wewe swali na sound swali upuzi man. But the idea is anakuuliza hiyo swali ndio waendelee kuongea na yeye juu. Ndio ukiendelea kuongea na yeye, whatever they have in their mouth ikuchape. Na hiyo kitu inanuka kama harufu ya mtoja brush man oh my god. Ikitu leo inanuka vibaya. So of course unapinduka kando, unataka kufungua dirisha. Nime notice hiyo swali amenuliza swali ya upuzi lakini lakini by the way process ndio nikienda hata sijamaliza kufungua dirisha naanza kusikia ah ah kuna venye nasikia so mm. i stood up nikajaribu kupumsa alikuwa mbele yangu simu but ume tighten grip juu kona hiyo kona hiyo inaita wanaitanga unasikia uphobia uko na hiyo uoga mm. paranoia mm. una najaribu kumpe but nimeshika grip juu naogopa sijui nani akona huyu jamaa yeah. na ni nani wana collaborate na najaribu kupea makanga naona pana makanga labda hata kona yeye so mm. but nimesimama najaribu kusema huyu jamaa amenifahamu unashindwa kuongea una sauti hata itu autoi like inaku ni kama inaku inaku incapacitate uh-huh. so ndo baadaye nikakuja kujua ni to devil's breath but when i notice nimejua nini amedo uh-huh. na nimeanza kusimama naanza kufanya watu wajue hapa kuna kitu ina happen uh-huh. akasimama mbio mbio na akashuka uh-huh. manzee nilikuwa traumatized hadi nilikuwa naogopa kushukia the next stage uh-huh. i think hata nilikuwa like abc place ndo next stage hapo yeah. ndo nilikuwa nishukia niliogopa kushuka juu nilikuwa zile za huyu jamaa anaweza kuwa ameshuka alafu pande bike tu ananifuata ana ni time tu panye ndashuka anifanyia yeah. ile kile alifanyia kwa kitu ani apite na mimi so niliogopa kushuka nikaache endelee mm. nimekaa hapo na jigonga makofi nafanya ndio zishuke mm. juu alafu unajua wale na joke simama ndio zinashika zaidi yeah. unasikia oi hata unaweza angoka so nika, uh-huh. nika mungu ni mwema i think hiyo mazoea nilikuwa nimekunywa asubuhi ilikuwa strong so mm-hmm. siku 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 anguka mm-hmm. but ni, ni true story so nikashuka mm-hmm. nikapanda bike ikanipeleka hiyo base nilifika kufika tu niambia tu mama mam ni petu maziwa ni petu maziwa tu kwa sababu ile kitu nimefanywa hapo nje mm-hmm. <laughs> nahitaji tu maziwa nikakunyonga maziwa and i think zilishuka zili like one or two days later but you eh, mean yo, like yo ili feeling, eh, ilikuwa ilikana ili mimi ilikana mimi i think like like the next day the third day mm-hmm. like on a sunday hivi ndo niliamka nikasikia sasa niko mimi yes sija, siku siku blackout that's mungu ni mwema siku blackout mm-hmm. but my head was heavy like i think almost two days ilikaa kwa kichwa yangu tu siku nasikia tu unasikia tu weird mm-hmm. na mimi si easy wish that on anyone manze una feel disoriented eh kama hivyo ndio watu wanasikia yangu akikula mchele ah ah <laughs> uh, uh, uh yuko ni mbaya bro mm. yuko ni mbaya but yeah ni true story but the fact that kila mtu anashinanga kiniambia hakuna venye story na ukweli bila mm-hmm. sianga tu okay i'm like okay so na maisha story ni noma hivi eh uh-huh. yeah but me was just sharing so until ufikie hapo ndio utajua ni ukweli eh until hata mimi nilikuwa kuna i think they like kuna eh, there's a friend of mine to MJ kuna mwingine mm-hmm. to Prudence mm-hmm. and there's another one called Joy mm-hmm. before me incidents yangu alikuwa amenipiga hizo story So I thank God all the way nipige story jundo ile ni gonga mbiombio what has happened. Mm-hmm. Juka kama singekuwa ni maisha hiyo story singe notice mbiombio ni yeah. what's happening here. Mm-hmm. Na mimi sikuwa na joy kwa that real. Mimi niko nafikiria ngatu ah. Au tu wana wana exaggerate mm-hmm. until niongelesho like 2 seconds at done ilipita 10 seconds before his effects zianze ku kick in. So, so he, he staff wana kwa mdomo. Yeah. How comes it doesn't affect them? So from my small research ni mm-hmm. inaitwa devil's breath. Mm-hmm. Ni kitu imekuwa imekuwa hizo sets za Colombia wamekuwa kitumia. Mm-hmm. And au wako na antidote kwa mdomo yao. So mm-hmm. ndio maana mm-hmm. hao hao iwachapi. Mm-hmm. But wewe hauna antidote. So wewe inakupata. Mm-hmm. So through your research ume yeah. ume research ukajo how can people protect themselves from the kind of breath ama sasa hapo pa how yeah. ndo siko sure exactly mm-hmm. but i advise ma, ma, ni mambo 
so far nime notice maji inasaidia mm-hmm. so make sure unatembea na maji na maziwa so hii maji unakunywa ama you just uh, unakunywa una unajiosha mm-hmm. it's like ina ina ina, ina dissolve from mm-hmm. the system mm-hmm. eh, so maji na maziwa ndio so far but bado niko napiga research and hopefully nitatengeneza content nikishajua mm-hmm. ya ku educate people on how to avoid the story mm-hmm. but the best solution ni tu wewe tu usi, usi kunywe tu mtu akikaa na ko approach kwa public weji fanye bubu au ongelesha nangi mm. you heri wito and kind but you get home safe so gopa watu wamesema mask sasa hiyo issue ya mask iko debatable juu kuna watu wanasema ukitumia mask itaizuia na kuna wengine wanasema hata through the mask pia bado ina effect but maybe i think mm. ukiwa na mask juu itazuia the, the amount yenye itakuingia mm. pia hiyo ni poa so mm. okay, manage kutembea na mask ukwe umebatu maji yako in case ushuku umefanywa hiyo kitu, kitu mm-hmm. ukunywa maji na maziwa i yeah. think that will help you but the best solution is just to be very very cautious mm-hmm. na usi entertain public conversations niliambia pia wakikuguza yeah. kuna nyenye pia wakikupaka wakikuguza mm-hmm. skin to skin pain inafa, in happen so see mdomo wake yeah so just be careful out there the best thing ni msia kuwa aware so that in case it happen mm-hmm. you can react quickly and mm-hmm. you can seek help haraka before ukwe umelemewa mm. yeah. so kuna mali pia nimeona tiktok umesimama kwa matatu unaweza <laughs> kuedicate watu kwanza uh, unatembea na kamera man ama how does it happen kwanza <laughs> so, nakuona una unaongea uko mbele na kuna mtu anataka nyuma so uko na kamera man ama <laughs> ile simu ile simu tu bado ndio kamera man Eh. So the mi mi tu mahali niki niki notice huu mwenye tumekanisha na yeye anaka ni genuine ni genuine mm-hmm. na, na una feel to instincts mm-hmm. una feel to instincts na request and record mm-hmm. alafu hata siku kwangine nimempe heads up na mwambie anga kuna kitu nataka kufanya mm-hmm. na mwambie tu unataka so, record kenye unaenda kuongea yes yeah, sajwangi <laughs> na mwambie tu kuna kitu nataka kuongelesha wa raia kama anaweza ni record and eh. record but firstly mi uomba makanga ruhusa mm-hmm. so makanga kikuja kunitisha fair na mpe fair alafu na mwanza eh aje naweza ongelesha watu wako dakika 2 3 mm-hmm. makanga kikubali sasa masawa iko sawa so mm. na umse amekaa kando yangu na mpesi yangu na ifanya record na mm. simama anapiga mambo yangu yeah. hivyo ndio mimi ukachapa so kwa hizi content zako unafanyia yeah. kwa gari ama kwa madri yes yes of course umepewa rusa na, na makanga yeye yeah, yeah, lazima kwa na nimeona pale kwa tuko wanasema yeah. ati umekuwa pasta <laughs> <laughs> of course unajua tumezoea pasta na mm. hokers kwa matatu na ndio wanasimama anga kuambia so wuli yeah. amwa kujitolea mm uongelesha wase who educate about his drugs yes, yes. so at the end of this do you get any token ama any appreciation ama mm. any maybe watu wanakutusi wanasema huyu jamaa ni bangi ama ni attention na sick <laughs> <laughs> so first of all mm-hmm. sijapata mtu mwenye sijapata any negative eh, effect hakuna mtu amenitusi kwa macha or anything mm-hmm. actually ni kwa very positive na kumbuka hadi most of the times nikikanga chini mm-hmm. utasikia tu mse mmoja huko katikati ya audience amesema eh asante bro kwa kutu educate mm-hmm. eh, thanks hadi kuna siku nikishuka mama wa kufu mimi akanambia eh manzi napenda kanyo mfanya that's mm-hmm. very brave of you mm-hmm. and uh, hata kwa online everyone is just commenting it ku sensitize wase mm. and kitumii waambia wase mimi si pasta so msiogope <laughs> pasta itisha sadaka <laughs> eh, so sijai itisha sadaka kwa patatu lakini ukitaka si uzi dawa mimi si uzi dawa or anything sijai uh-huh. itisha anything actually sijai receive any monetary mm-hmm. eh, thing from the matatu mm-hmm. but eh, wakitaka kuni support ukiingia kwa tiktok yangu pale kona till hapo Mm-hmm. Unaweza tetemesha hiyo tili. Leo nimeka tili hapo. Eh, inaitwa mimi kodi tunaitanga love token. <laughs> so my fans wanajua love token lazima wacheze nayo. Mm-hmm. Eh, na inasaidia anga by the way. Hiyo love token nimenunulilia mm-hmm. maziwa siku kadhaa kama kati nice. hapa. Eh, nice. So yeah. nashukuru wale wanacheza na love token. Mm-hmm. Tuzidi. But I don't do it for the pay. I mm-hmm. do it because nakumbuka how traumatic that situation was mm-hmm. na sisi tutaka kuimagine mm-hmm. that kuna wakenya watajikuta in that situation just because hawako wanajua yeah, kama true, mimi so true. that's the motivation the mm-hmm. motivation do ni ku sensitize to say like wase wajue like mm-hmm. ni kubaya mm-hmm. so ikikuhapenia unajua at least ukikuwa aware that ni kubaya mm-hmm. utakuwa more sensitive so in case it happen you will react quickly yeah. other than kikupate ukuwa ignorant mm-hmm. so hiyo ndio motivation kama kuna malipo ni wa Kenya wakikuwa educated yeah, yule malipo yangu yeah. eh, lakini hakuna mtu hapendi kununuliwa chai <laughs> chai inunua bana hadi na til na til mkenda tiktok yake tiktok yako hiyo ni ebu apatie handle at iningu mm. underscore music iningu music mm-hmm. tiktok na instagram lakini pale kwa love token pale tiktok <laughs> eh cheza ni nayo eh na pressure ile so hata kuna malume mention mm. atia jamaa uliko na goba mbi makanga mm. hapo na wao or eh. maybe the next part so you mean these guys they work as a web like wako na wamesetu wase kwa hiyo gari si mtu mmoja i want to believe that sitaki kusema ni hivyo mm-hmm. but 
later rondo nikifikiria ni like how comes umse alishuka na huo matatu huo makanga hakufanya anything ndio ikanigonga maybe si mm. semi hivyo ndio iko mm-hmm. mimi si semi kitu but i don't want to believe he was alone ju it seemed calculated mm-hmm. and the fact that alisimama and even after mimi kuonesha that signals that something might be happening na huo mm-hmm. the fact that no one reacted and the fact that huo makanga alimwacha tu ashuke mbio mbio mm-hmm. It, it raises a question. Yeah, na pia kwa comments mm. nimeona watu kadhaa wako wamesema wamesema kitu kama hiyo haifanywi na mtu mmoja. Yeah. Kitu kama hiyo <laughs> iko na collaborators. <laughs> Sisemi kitu. Yes. Umemalizia hapo. Mm-hmm. Acha acha imaliziwe hapo. But hapo uh, kwa madhiri unasema maybe yeah. the person who's sitting just adjacent to you ama hapo mm. mbele ama nyuma. Mm. They didn't do anything like how could idea after could realize you are overdosed or something kama hiyo. I feel like nyali party attention. Na feel ni kama either Kenyans tuko na mashida mingi so tutaki kujihusisha na shida za wengine. Uh-huh. Or we are just tired of <laughs> mashida ziko in Nairobi but no one no one helped. Hata hakuna like, hakuna mama ma- maji ukishuka gari hakuna staga hakuna like, like i was just alone i was just very alone sad. it's very sad but i understand them juu hata mimi size nikiona mtu ana behave hivyo maybe nitaongopa kwanza before ni affect eh alama hata inaweza kwa maybe ni kujifanya uh-huh. so you, I, i'm not blaming the kenyans mm-hmm. so but nairobi juu tuko peke yako so jichunge peke yako <laughs> fika home peke yako uh-huh. eh not unless umepeleka na mama yako huyo ndo tu anakubaiya maji mm. ama hata akupe maziwa but ah uh, huko mm-hmm. kwingine you're just alone Imagine the only thing that people said ni eh umeponea eh umeponea eh umeponea <laughs> eh uko na bahati but nobody offered any help uh-huh. other than that uh-huh. nobody even cared to know eh uko sawa unaweza shuka ama nobody mm-hmm. eh so tuko peke yako tu so with this uh, experience yeah. maybe na research yeah. i know you are still doing more research yes yes which route can you flag as red flag from the from my research na Kenya nimeona hiyo mm. wayekiwe wayekiwe is, is is like nimeona watu wengi sana wame mention wayekiwe is a very very mm-hmm. user stories me happen sana mm-hmm. pia kuna boys wangu pia uh, bishta yake alitendo to that same wayekiwe mm-hmm. so wayekiwe na thicker road especially between Nairobi na Gedo mm-hmm. uko pia nimeona watu wakisema na pia nimesikia side za Islando Islando pia nimesikia but Islando ni kubwa kuna Juja road kuna Jogoro road kuna eh hiyo huyo mwenye alisema alisema alikuwa toka side za Dandora Dandora that is Juja Road. Huko ni Juja Road. So mm-hmm. yo 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 huko. Mm-hmm. But tuseme tu Nairobi. Nairobi shamba la mawe. Tuseme tu Nairobi. Yaani wana choose to route yenye wataenda. Eh, okay, could notice. Ngoro Road niliona mama fulani akitoka simu. Si unaona aka akangazika na honga pa ikiti ya nyuma kwa kwa ilikuwa tu kwa Super Metro. Mimi sina ubaya ya Super Metro. <laughs> but mimi napenda Super Metro. So Ehe. Uh-huh. Siezi ongelea route nyingine juu mimi natumia ngatu super metro. Mm-hmm. So hata mkitaka kunipata mtanipata tu kwa super metro. Yeah. Stock tu super metro zote maybe tutapata <laughs> na mahali. But iki ti hapa nyuma uh-huh. after nyuma ya mat kuna yeah. ngazi ngazi za kuweka mizigo huko juu. Yes. So apparently hawa say wanapanda hiyo ngazi wanabaki wameidandia. Alafu as gari inaenda anafungua hii dirisha ya nyuma. Mm-hmm. So gari kienda kusimama Anas, anangoa simu alafu si gari imeanza kwenda yeah. kabla usimamisha gari ameshafanya mumbake na umetoka so hiyo mm-hmm. pia nilicheki hiyo nilicheki hapa ngong road kama unajua ngong mm-hmm. kuna business ito vet ili apeni hapo vet so huyo mjamaa alipanda hiyo ngazi akafungua tu dirisha yake pole pole mama alikuwa hapa nyuma tu ana ana feel ako safe mm-hmm. but venye gari lilisimama kushukisha wase ile time gari inaanza kungoa mm-hmm. amevuta na amekimbia then there is nothing you can do so sijui ni itasema aje wewe tu jua tu Nairobi shamba la mawe So wa Kenya wakaikujua hata hii menye mat mnasema super metro they are the safest but still mtapatwa tu mtapatwa tu mtapatwa so, kwetu careful hata niliona pia Mombasa kuna msee pia niliona ali comment akasema pia cost pia so mm. this this kwenye tu ni safe ni kwako kwa maybe <laughs> kwa still bado wewe jua labda watakuja pia kutafuti <laughs> but yes, just just be safe yeah. uh-huh. sidani inasema ni wapi red flag sana but zile nimeona mara mingi ni hiyo yakiwe mm. hizo side za dando mm. na yo pande za gerai huko mm-hmm. ni kubaya so hata turudi nyuma kidogo umeambia mm-hmm. wasi asuli yako ni gani and how can you advise uh, mavijana hapa nje jo mavijana sana sasa hii jumbe imekuwa scars eh hey, zakayo 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 <laughs> panda muti <laughs> eh yeah, turudi kwa vijana sasa mayuti mavijana mimi kenye mm-hmm. naweza naweza sema ni kila mtu kuna kitu god ameku bless nayo mm-hmm. so for me ni muziki mm-hmm. for Ezekiel hapa ni mambo ya ku mambo ya sinema pale. Mm-hmm. Na believe kila mzee kuna kitu God ameku bless nayo. Mm-hmm. And mimi kenyemu ambie wasemi just be faithful to the little. 
na usiku unatamani sana penye utakuwa kesho mm-hmm. that usahau kukuwa faithful na yeye uko nayo sasa hizi mm-hmm. najua maybe unaweza pika mandazi hapo maybe unaweza kwa wewe ni msee wa kuandika script writing or whatever mm-hmm. it is mm-hmm. but naweza ambia vijana i i cannot be convinced that akuna ati kuna mtu hii dunia hana kitu yako good at mm-hmm. ama ati hana kitu yenye god ame place kwa hati yake mm-hmm. the only thing is tuna huwa tunajidharau na una mimi na una hiyo sani yangu mm. haina faida kwa hii dunia mm. so mimi naweza kuambia tu kama anyone wherever you are just sit on your bed today and ask yourself what can i do yeah. ama ni nini god ameni place ya kwa, kwa mikono zangu mm-hmm. and mimi ni I'm a christian so I, 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 I believe in the teachings of jesus na nakumbuka kila miracle lenye christ alif, alifanya wase mm-hmm. hakuenda kuchukua kitu iko mbali alikuwa ngana uliza what do you have yeah. nikupetu example ule mtu wa two loaves two fish and five loaves of bread yeah. like yondo kenyu mtu alikuwa na and that's what jesus used mm. ukiangalia hadi time ya elijah ule mama alikuwa na mafuta kidogo imebaki yondo kenyu ilitumiwa mm. ukiangalia kwa ile harusi wale ambao waweke maji kwa hizo ndo mm. yesu akwenda akawaletea pombe from somewhere <laughs> ilikuwa hiyo maji wako nayo <laughs> and everyone else hata ule mwenye aliambo aende aoshe maji like everyone is kenyu ilikuwa kwa mikono yake ukiangalia hadi moses ni ile road alikuwa nayo kwa mkono wake hiyo ndo god ali mtu alitumia mm. ku rescue wana israeli mm. so mimi naweza sema tu hiyo yenye uko nayo trust me that you ndo kenye god atatumia mm-hmm. so don't look outside usiangalie ni nini victor iningwa kwa nayo atuseme ah ningekuwa kama huyo victor venye anaweza pigia watu story kwa matatu yeah. ningekuwa famous no 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 useme ah ningekuwa kama zeki venye anakuja na interview watu maybe ningekuwa famous no, mm-hmm. no 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 just don't even look outside just look like jikachi ni uangalie nini god ameni bless nayo mm-hmm. and focus on that mm-hmm. and in due time i believe that god at 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 i grow isha into something yeah. sijafika yet but i can actually see it starting to work mm-hmm. yeah mm. bro that is super powerful asante wewe nika utakuwa passive unaza i see like it's a calling so bidako ni pasi eh buda ni pasi na umegatha courage already ushaanza kwa matatu yeah the next thing umesema of course we uko kwa choir mm yeah bro you are yeah. going far asante man Asante. Si give up so yeah. si hata uko na hiyo outspoken like you are an outspoken person oh, wow. mm. So maybe utakuwa na kuona kwa show zingine mob. Amen, amen, man. Amen, amen. Kama ndio <laughs> plan ya God. Sawa, kaende kaende. Wallahi utakuona. So yeah. just receive the blessings. Asante man. Yeah. Asante man. So mm-hmm. tumeongea nimekuja kutafuta mbali sana. Yes, Aibu yes. ambiwa si hapa ni wapi by the way? Hapa tuko The Well Karen. Mm-hmm. Office yetu iko hapa tu chini. Mm-hmm. It's a piano store. Mm-hmm. Tuko along Langata Road just after Sita Mkaren there's a mall up in Eto the Well mm-hmm. utaona food plus chandarana tuko opposite e Catholic ya Koya University mm-hmm. so hapo we sell musical instruments pianos guitars violins and we also offer lessons and any piano servicing so ukitaka piano yako ituniwe any anything inahusiana na muziki mm-hmm. we are the guys wow pianos eh hapo so, niko kwenye ofisi yangu mimi nice mm. na maybe mtu anataka kutumiaka love token love token uh, na nataka ku reach out maybe mpate history yako pia yeah, yeah. maybe wende pia speak out to their church members uh, ah. like anyone wende kupata atakupataje so instagram tiktok iningu music mm. eh nambari ya simu pia tunaweza peana kwa sababu ukipiga ukiongea bus tunaweza block ama <laughs> Zina <laughs> namba ni 0721 mm-hmm. 84 mm-hmm. 80 70 0721 84 80 70 music everywhere eh, TikTok YouTube Instagram Facebook I think iningu sikumbuki Facebook ni gani <laughs> but Instagram na TikTok iningu music uh-huh. eh, we whatever yenye utataka muhimu tu ni tukuje na upendo na kindness yeah sababu so, hatuna ubaya we are just vijana wadogo tu na rugby we are just trying to do our best ah kuna haja tukuje na ubaya yeah sawa sawa guys msikie yeah. story yake na mtaka <laughs> more story kama hizi hebu enda kwa channel yake pale youtube pale tiktok ining music tafuta umsie show this guy love man hata oh. wewe unatumekuja kumtafuta na he so humble yani mpaka amekubali tukuje mpige interview watu wengine hawakubali ngi my interviews <laughs> So the next interview ta muona citizen. Hallelujah. <laughs> so Amen. guys, so yeah. make sure you subscribe. Mm. Thank you for watching until here and uh, make sure you share with your friends. Na that's all. Atakuwa serious sana. Kabisa. For fun. Bana. Sawa, so, cheers. Santi man. Hi, good morning. 
today when you ask your friends how they are doing as you greeting them remember to add the word truly before how are you doing so you say something like how are you truly doing and let them know that you truly care about how they're doing just be more mindful today shall we well good day bye